Um, hello everybody, uh, going to be reviewing the NECA Ultimate Chucky figure, that's uh, this one here, he comes with that awesome box there, they also give you this little box that you can assemble to put him in if you wish, don't be confused by the other versions of Chucky that you're seeing around in the background, that's just to make things a little bit more interesting to look at rather than a big white wall, just didn't feel right for Chucky. So this is another NECA figure, a slightly bigger figure with actual material clothing. It's called the Retro Cloth Chucky. That's the packaging you'll find with him. Great artwork there. Here is the same figure again, but customized by me for more of a kind of, uh, you know, much more bloody, scary looking version of Chucky. So you can see the same head sculpt, just with different hairstyle. This one's got gel in his hair to slick it back, make him look a little bit different. And here we have the more recognizable hair. However, I have trimmed that hair quite a lot, got rid of some of it, tried to layer it a little bit. And um, I started off trying to do the sort of third act look for Chucky where he's uh, lost his hand. I'm sorry if you can hear a lot banging in the background. I've put off making this review for two days because we've got a lot of work going on on the house, building an extension on the side and stuff. So you've got... Um, don't want to look like I'm filming them or anything. Yeah, there's a lot of work. Oh, there you go. A lot of work going on outside. So I'm just going to try and get this review done quickly. Got lots of photography done. So I'm going to intersplice that with the rest of uh, what I'm talking about here. Make it a bit more interesting for you. But yeah, he comes with four heads. So he's a quadra head, which is pretty sick. NECA always take care of us, man, when it comes to the horror figures. They just do such good work. You've got a Child's Play 1 head. You've got a either a Curse of Chucky or a Cult of Chucky head. I'm not sure exactly which one. Uh, some people might even say it's um, like a Seed of Chucky or a Bride of Chucky even. Um, but I think this is more of a Curse or Cult of Chucky version. Uh, down here you've got the regular Good Guys head. And the Child's Play 3 head sculpt from where his face gets sliced off. Child's Play 3 up there. I don't actually own Child's Play 1 on Blu-ray just yet. Um, yeah, I just don't have Child's Play 1 just now because I'm waiting for a version to come out with packaging that I like. I'm a bit fussy when it comes to films like that. I just like the packaging to be, you know, if I'm going to have the tangible thing, I want it to look good. Um, yeah, time for some pictures. I thought my one had a bit of a wonky eye or something like maybe that uh, eye on the right hand side there was kind of going a bit more up into the head than it should. I checked some pictures uh, on NECA's Instagram and a lot of other people seem to have the exact same thing. So that doesn't seem to be a fault or anything like that. I just love the proportions on this guy. Absolutely nailed it. I thought I would be put off slightly by the plastic outfit rather than this great um, retro cloth version with the real material. But I, um, I love this one just as much, maybe more. And I keep going back to this head sculpt. I never thought that would be the case because I'm all about more of the kind of Chucky 
uh, especially part two. I think Child's Play 2 is my favorite film. It may not be the best technically. I think part one's fantastic, but part two gave you everything, man. I mean, the third act is awesome. And I love every part of that film. It's just great. Maybe it's just because the time it sort of came out and it was on Sky TV and I was about, I don't know, what year did it come out? Whatever year this came out, I don't know, I was like 12 or 13 years old. Uh, and they used to show it surprisingly early in the evening sometimes. I remember I came home from school and Charles Play 2 was starting up. I was like, sweet. Um, yeah. This one's really gory. Let me just zoom in. Better yet, I'll just hold it and turn the torch on the camera and just uh, turn it a little bit so you can see. So yeah, Charles Play 3 head sculpt with half its face slashed off. I mean, that is really gross. Very wet and slimy looking. So... And for those of you, uh, a couple of people have wondered if you can interchange these heads. Um, the retro cloth version here is a different scale. Uh, he is a bigger figure, so, um, you know, the ultimate Chucky heads, they are going to be smaller than this one. So that would not work, unfortunately, but, you know, that's it. It is what it is. <sighs> Pop that down here. Here's the regular good guy head. Nicely done. Does the job just fine. And you'll get a better look at these in the photography, I think. I spent a while just utilizing all of the accessories and getting them to hold everything and trying different combinations of heads and weapons. So there's the Child's Play 1 head sculpt with the receding hairline. I don't think you really get a Child's Play 2 head because in Child's Play 2, I don't really remember him getting the uh, kind of more human Charles Lee Ray hairline. Uh, as he progressed throughout the film and became more human in the doll. Uh, I think they kind of scrapped the receding hairline thing for this one, but I could be wrong. I just don't remember it being as extreme as it was in Charles Play 1. You can see there, that's how that looks. But yeah, you don't seem to get a Charles Play 2 head. You definitely get a Charles Play 1 head, and you definitely, well, you know, probably just call that part 1. Part 3, and possibly curse or cult of Chucky but I really do like this one very cheeky look on his face but weapon wise you've got the gun uh, the kind of razor is that from part three the um, the hairdresser the barber guy obviously there's the uh, the blade that he sticks his hand used to be, there's your good guy's ruler. A knife. We have a knife from Child's Play 2. Good guy's hammer. A big ass knife. Rambo style. And there is the uh, voodoo knife from the first film. So all in all, the four heads. Oh, and the baseball bat, of course. Which he is wielding currently. You certainly get your money's worth. No complaints. 11 out of 10. Changed out the arm to the Charles Play 2 arm with the uh, the knife instead of the hand. It does look very cool. That is probably how I'm going to be displaying mine. I wish NECA gave you the option to buy just a body separately for something like this because you get all these different heads. It's going to be uh, one of those ones where you're constantly changing them around because you're never really going to be able to settle on a one specific look because they're all so good and so many different options and variations with all the accessories combined with the heads and the posability which is fantastic I mean I could easily 
get another three of these just so I could, you know, have some cool looking Chucky figures, but I don't want to end up with all of those spare, you know, if I buy three of these, then I'm going to end up with like, God knows how many heads and knives and it's just going to build up like crazy and I wouldn't have the patience for sending any of that stuff separately, so I don't know. I'll try and grab one more just so I can have uh, this one kind of displayed like this and then maybe just have like a regular good guy or something or uh, I really do like this head sculpt as well so it's a shame not to use this I just love it, it looks really cheeky really captured the essence on this one and this one too they all do they all uh, do the job just fine here's a little high comparison between the retro cloth version on the left there and the new ultimate version on the right as you can see there is a significant height difference here, so let there be no confusion. There will be no swapping of the heads. But All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review and the pictures. Let me know your thoughts. I would absolutely recommend this to any NECA collector or a Chucky fan or horror fan in general. This is the Chucky figure to own. It's small, but it's so good. It comes with so much stuff. Love all the head sculpts. The workmen outside are starting to bang those hammers, so I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Ultimate Chucky indeed. Get it. Absolutely sick piece. See you soon.